Let us go on to treat of the region which follows next in order after this, and which immediately surrounds the earth. It is the region common to water and air, and the processes attending the formation of water above take place in it. We must consider the principles and causes of all these phenomena too as before. The efficient and chief and first cause is the circle in which the sun moves. For the sun as it approaches or recedes obviously causes dissipation and condensation and so gives rise to generation and destruction. Now the earth remains but the moisture surrounding it is made to evaporate by the sun's rays and the other heat from above and rises. But when the heat which was raising it leaves it in part dispersing to the higher region, in part quenched through rising so far into the upper air, then the vapor cools because its heat is gone and because the place is cold, and condenses again and turns from air into water, and after the water has formed it falls down again to the earth. The exhalation of water is vapor, air condensing into water is cloud. Mist is what is left over when a cloud condenses into water, and is therefore rather a sign of fine weather than of rain for mist might be called a barren cloud. So we get a circular process that follows the course of the sun. For according as the sun moves to this side or that, the moisture in this process rises or falls. We must think of it as a river flowing up and down in a circle and made up partly of air, partly of water. When the sun is near, the stream of vapor flows upwards. When it recedes, the stream of water flows down. In the order of sequence, at all events, and this process always remains the same. So if Oceanus had some secret meaning in early writers, perhaps they may have meant this river that flows in a circle about the earth. So the moisture is always raised by the heat and descends to the earth again when it gets cold. These processes and, in some cases, their varieties are distinguished by special names. When the water falls in small drops, it is called a drizzle. When the drops are larger, it is rain.